see you love me, you push and shove me Down the stairway just to be above me What is going on guys? It's Adam AK Marf. Today's show is going to be packed. We're going to talk about La Palma. We're going to talk about the 25 other volcanoes that are blowing up right now. And then of course, we're going to talk about everything that is happening in the world. We have a ton coming your way right after this. We'll be right back with your live Marfugel news. Nothing in the show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect my opinion, Dex's opinion, or anyone else who works with the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals. The internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. If you have not already, it helps us out if you end up going through any of our affiliates, and it helps you out if you end up protecting yourself against cybercrime. NordVPN is one of the best and one of the easiest to use. If you do not have a virtual private network, it protects your IP address, which is your online identity, which actually connects to your real address and everything else. It also connects to you. If you know anything about how they are data logging and basically getting your profiles down, you can prevent that by having a VPN. Nord is, again, one of the easiest. Download it. It's like an on switch and off switch. All you have to do. Go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. Not only will you get a giant discount on this, but you will also be helping us. I appreciate your support, and I appreciate everyone that goes through any of our affiliates. Uh, can't say thank you enough. All right, what is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Tonight, we have a lot to go over. So without further ado, just to let anyone new here know, we make sure to back up everything we say with a link, a bibliography of all of our sources so you know exactly where you are getting your content from. Again, if you go to our website, marfuglenews.com, not only will you be able to sign up for alerts at marfuglenews.com, email alerts and such, and you can actually get notifications sent to you directly to your phone when we go live. Uh, the live start time can vary because we are live. Again, it is uh, it is two guys, two computers, uh, basically running the show. So we are not a multi-billion dollar backed company. We don't even have a multi-channel network. Uh, we have you as our backers. So again, go to our website. Make sure to click on today's show, 26 uh, volcanoes uh, boiling over. Again, the black one right here. And then boom, you will see that we have every single link, every single article, tweet, video, document that we are going to show you here today is going to be right there. Uh, and then if you go, you will see down the way there is web-only content. That is basically the stuff that is too hot for TV. Uh, the, the stuff that people get, uh, you know, hit for. That stuff is all on our website. Again, uh, we try to not cover anything that is two to one direction. We try to be as neutral as possible. I have opinions. I'm a human being. But otherwise, uh, it will be there. And then on the right side, if you do want to support uh, the ecosystem, affiliates are a great way to do that. If, uh, again, we choose the affiliates in the way that basically we think that those are going to help save your life, help you, or help you survive in the future. So again, those are all things that are on there. Uh, on the right side, you can find our Amazon link as well. And if you do want to do a PayPal during the show and have something said out loud, you can do that as well. Uh, let's bring in my co-host slash internet brother slash smartest man on the planet, Dex James. What is going on and how are you doing today? Well, hello, Adam. And uh, hello, Fugle fam. I'm doing just fine. So without further ado, we'll get into it. Scoop, U.S. government buying risky Chinese drones. It says that federal law enforcement agencies are purchasing surveillance drones from a Chinese company the Pentagon has deemed a potential national security threat, Axios has learned. It says that uh, efforts to purge military and law enforcement agencies of potentially compromised Chinese technology have stalled amid bureaucratic red tape, and experts worry that the federal government is needlessly exposing itself to snooping uh, by malicious foreign actors, a.k.a. Uh, China, Russia, and, uh, and others. It says, the U.S. Secret Service is the latest to purchase surveillance drones from the Shenzhen-based company DJI, uh, which dominates the commercial drone market in the U.S. and abroad. Now, as far as DJI goes, I own a Mavic, and what's sad is 
Uh, most people do that do any kind of droning. It was basically they had the only product that really did its job. Well, the more that I got into it, the more I realized that this was a cloud-based uh, service. The whole point of a drone is that this drone has a very high-tech, very high-quality camera, and you can fly it miles away. Now, that is not connected by a cord that goes directly to your phone. It is connected by, uh, of course, uh, by frequencies and sending that video footage wirelessly. And it's sending it through a proprietary app. That app can then record every single bit of information information going on and through this. Uh, in fact, the newer ones, it will automatically save just what you see on your screen. The bad part about that is if there are thousands of, you know, DJI flyers around, in fact, it's millions at this point, millions of DJI drone flyers, that means almost every inch of every country that these are in is being mapped or very well could be. Now, uh, there, there was a lot said during the last administration about specifically DJI. We covered the stories. Now, all of a sudden, it seems like they're just kind of not caring about uh, TikTok being an app that could be uh, collecting information about a lot of these apps that could be collecting information and about DJI. Why in the world would we buy uh, a, a product that we know is made and connected to the Chinese government, which is technically our enemy? Not only that, uh, one product that literally has a proprietary software that can have a backdoor in it that can end up downloading all of that footage. You can't fly it with any other uh, app. You, it's only connected through their made software. They are the best company. They make the best product. Which is crazy. Uh, again, you know, at the same time that people say that, oh, everything in China is, is crap and then it's made backwards and, oh, if, you know, if they make their tanks like they make their harbor freight tools, then we'll be fine. But then again, people don't realize that a lot of the products that you are using that are top tier, ex super expensive, uh, top of the game stuff is actually coming from China. So in the same right that you think that there's all this cheap stuff, yes, there is, uh, because those are the greedy companies that, again, those are going to the very top, feeding their governments and uh, feeding the horrible things that their governments are doing. But again, there are also top tier products that are all made and manufactured in China as well. This is like, you know, everybody is supporting them. And just look at the graphs that have been put out over the last 20 years. You will see that. Dex, uh, as far as China, do you think that they make, you know, do you think that they make anything quality? Well, I think they have the ability in the sense that they have, you know, they've come a long way. Like 10 years ago, it, uh, the quality was pretty low. But nowadays, the quality is a lot better. I don't, you know, I think American made is always going to be the best. But at this point you can't even find things that are you know you can there's certain things you can't even find american made you have to get them in another country because they're just not made here either they can't afford to make them here um or they've just quit making them here because they went out of business because it's so much more economical overseas so um but this is th what's interesting about this and this report had just come out that the secret service had bought that this they bought it back in july but they literally bought them like three days after the DOD came out and made a statement saying, hey, this poses a, nas a national security threat. And not only did the Secret Service do it, but so did the um, FBI. They bought some too. So um, that's sort of the question is, okay, well, is it a security <laughs> threat or is it not? Well, and what bothers me is there are other uh, more expensive options than DJI. There are American-made drones. And hello, we have DARPA and DOD at our, def at our uh, you know, beck and call. Why would you not have them do a proprietary uh, drone? Th these are not extremely, you know, hard to, to make as far as when you're talking about when you have the resources that the U.S. government has. What are you doing buying it from DJI? Uh, the argument is that maybe it could be cheaper. Well, you only bought eight of them. How much money do they throw down the toilet every single day and they can't they can't have them design and make their own set of drones? You would think that the government would have their own branded uh, drones that are made either here uh, under the watchful eye of our government. So then there is no chance of a backdoor. The fact that the Secret Service itself, this is the Secret Service, the same agency that's supposed to protect our puppet it's absolutely mind blowing. This is the secret service getting drones from a enemy that kind of, that should, that should tell you something right there. 
Uh, it's unbelievable. It said the Secret Service bought eight DJI drones July 26, according to the procurement records obtained by the industry publication IPVM and shared with Axios. That was three days after the Defense Department, of course, released the statement saying DJI products pose potential threats to national security. Even if they didn't, why are you supporting a company that we know has connections with the Chinese government? Period. How, why doesn't anybody make a stink about this? You know, you'll see a little tiny uh, opinion piece, but nothing changes. How do it's so um, compartmentalized our, our government and uh, the for and against. It's like, how does this not show up? You know, more. I just don't understand it. How does somebody make a mistake like this and not get canned? How did that? How does this not rise to the top of the crap? We're going to go over in a little bit uh, one of the three letter uh, groups that was very famous for taking over parts of towns and everything else. Uh, in fact, uh, last year, the Summer of Love, as we said, uh, they are actually on uh, the side of uh, they are against what the government is currently doing. Really crazy. We'll talk about that and more in just a minute. First off, though, I do want to say even before the show started, we had some really awesome people pop in. Dangerous, thank you so much for supporting from Europe. Says Apollo, come home. Anubis misses you. I don't know what that means, but uh, again, Thank you for the support. Trevor Shawale, thank you from Canada. Uh, thank you for your massive support of the channel. Trevor, I appreciate you. Uh, Trevor Shawale, if I said your name wrong, I apologize. Gunpowder Production says, I live near Camp Atterbury. Local Radio 93.1 WIBC reports 47 missing from the base with confirmed TAL-E ban. It says making knives and on tables. So we did cover part of the the kind of supposed leak out of the camp Atterbury. Uh, that's maybe that's why you're quoting it uh, or or uh, mentioning that. But again, uh, more people were messaging me saying that that was true. I don't know about the 47 missing, but we will try to confirm that. Uh, Martin, yeah, we had a caller. It was a caller whose mom who lived there and was telling us about that. That's right, and it was. Uh, it was quite shocking to hear what was supposedly going on. Uh, they were turning license plates into shanks. Uh, you're talking about it looked like uh, a prison yard at the place. Uh, and then Mar according to the sources, right? It says Martin W2 has subscribed. Thank you so much. Craig Alicious says I am one very scared Australian. Craig Alicious, I, um, I, I don't know what to say. I, I would be too. And I, to be honest, we're all in the same boat. The entire world is scared right now. Uh, you know, that not to say there's a difference between being scared and uh, being, I guess there's not really. I mean, I'm fearful of all of this. I don't want other people to, though. I, I would say keep faith and, and keep moving forward. And then Southern Yankee Kelly Joe, thank you for your support. Susan Donahue, dear Adam Dex, Mod Squad, and Fugle Fam, I'm so very grateful for every uh, each one of you. We were born for this time. Hashtag Team Humanity. Thank you, Susan, for your support. I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Uh, and I, I can't say thank you enough for just uh, for all of the people that have gone above and beyond for this channel to keep us going. Trevor Shawale says, hi, brothers and sisters. We are going home soon. I don't think that's I, I think that's a happy statement, actually. Uh, and then, of course, we have Facebook reveals its censorship strategy. Facebook released an update to its content distribution guidelines Thursday, giving an inside look on how the big tech mogul decides which content to push versus which to suppress. It says that Facebook has previously provided some details on the type of content that gets reduced distribution on the site's newsfeed, but the updated guidelines provide more clarity and accessibility. It says the quote, the content distribution guidelines make it clear what content receives reduced distribution on newsfeed because it's problematic or low quality. The guidelines list types of content that Facebook suppresses like clickbait, unoriginal or low quality content and articles from publishers rated as untrusted by users. So people are snitching on posts and they, they tap, tap the button that says untrusted or the one million man uh, army of uh, propaganda 
employees in China are doing that as well. If it, if it goes against what they believe, I'm sure that would be pretty easy. Because guess what? It says unrated or untrusted by users. That means users can therefore uh, make that difference. Now, if you have, say, 100, uh, what was it, 1 million on the payroll uh, deciding what is uh, bad and what is good, it's pretty easy to sway algorithms, apparently. Now, as far as low quality, I've been telling people uh, very soon, if you have cell phone videos, they will be supremely downranked by all of the platforms, including Facebook. Uh, that is why it was important to update even uh, the quality. Right now, we're at 1080. Uh, we have to upgrade again to even stay relevant. Uh, not because it, it matters that we look cool, uh, because it will be downranked and any uh, chance you can get to uh, raise your reach to people is something you have to do. I've been telling people that for a long time. Uh, again, I, I am one who believes I can watch a crappy quality video as long as it has good sound. But again, that's going to change even now again too. Uh, you're going to need a uh, good quality camera and the bit rate and even the uh, the the uh, frames per second are going to matter soon. So just a tip for any uh, small creators out there. And then NASA's Insight finds three Mars quakes thanks to solar panel dusting. Before I move on to this, I do want to go back real quick. As far as Facebook's um, censorship, Dex, do you think that that's fair then? If if it can be manipulated by users and knowing what, you know, if if we know how many uh, people that every country has on their team, wouldn't that mean that Facebook is leaving it open for other countries to decide what is being shown? Yeah, it, that, that certainly could be part of this algorithm that they're putting in place. To their, they, probably, they already have in place. They're just sort of readdressing or reannouncing how it works. You know, the other thing that they put in here, um, it was down at the bottom, it says that they're also looking for untrustworthy or suspicious domains, which we've seen domain filtering done uh, where certain domains will get shut down. Like there's certain domains you can't share content on Twitter, right? So we'll, we're going to see that that will continue to happen. And then also they obviously called out the fact checkers. Um, anything that they want to label, then they're going to, they're going to, you know, suppress that content as well. Well, and I was surprised to find out uh, if you guys remember Ben from Edge of mm, One, they, their actual name has become uh, filter. They have now uh, changed over to R-I-S-E dot TV. Um, again, they actually not only on top of taking their channel right around uh, when all that stuff was going on, uh, but they also ended up taking his personal channel, which he didn't talk about stuff. So once it's marked, it's marked. That's why, uh, again, you know, so many people are so careful about what they are doing. Um, I just had a chat with somebody today about how, you know, yeah, you can go balls to the wall and, and you know, not let anybody tell you what to say. But unfortunately, that then you won't have reach. Then you will be uh, gone. You'll, you're, you won't have an audience to be truthful to. You won't have an audience to say the full words, the unfiltered, uh, un, uncensored stuff too. You just won't. And the, so you have to uh, somewhat, uh, I guess, take a defeat in some ways. And I think now people understand that. When I first started doing what we do with our keep, you know, with all, all of the stuff we, we do and, and how we say things and how we mumble, everybody just, it was nonstop comments like, you're, you're doing this and blah, blah. now people are starting to understand. Because everyone else is doing it too. There's just no option. And I knew there was going to be no option, so I was getting people used to it. I knew it. Everybody else did. I watched all my friends just poof, like a poof of smoke. So, you know, it's like, I guess, to, uh, tell the truth to 10 people or, or uh, you know, mumble a couple words to 100,000. Everybody understands what we're saying. NASA's InSight finds three big Mars quakes thanks to solar panel dusting. Hmm. It says InSight's uh, dusty selfie. This is a selfie of NASA's InSight lander, supposedly, is a mosaic made up of 14 images taken on March 15th uh, and April 11th and the 106th and 133rd Martian days or souls of the mission. So, 
Dex, well, one thing I don't get is why can't they just do this as one thing with like a GoPro? Or do GoPros not work in space? Like, why did they have to put together... Um, why do they always have to do composites when it comes to space? I, I don't know if you know that or if, if we... I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they're taking this picture from. Um... It looks like it's almost taken from like the... the like a, a selfie pole or something. They called it a selfie. It says on September 18th, NASA's Insight Lander celebrated its 1,000th Martian day or Sol, by measuring one of the biggest, longest-lasting Mars quakes the mission has ever detected. The Tembler, again, I've, I've had this conversation with you guys before, I don't remember Tembler, and I, I swear it was like uh, one of these Mandela effects. This word right here, almost everyone uses this for like a tremor or an earthquake. This, some people will go, oh, that's always been the word. Uh, I, a lot of people agreed with me last time I put pointed this out. All the articles say Tembler now. Tembler, T-E-M-B-L-O-R, for an earthquake or like a, a tremor, right? Um, tremor is is a word too, but Tembler, or tr- tr- it's just weird. I This word, um, maybe it was, you know, somebody started using it a couple years ago and maybe it was on, you know, the toilet paper words or something and, and all of these authors started using it. But I just thought it was weird. I was like, that... That didn't, I didn't think that that word existed. Just saying it was like a Mandela effect. Now everybody uses it. It says the Tembler is estimated to be about half, uh, to be about a magnitude 4.2 and shook for nearly half an hour or an hour and a half. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the third <clears throat> major quake Insight has detected in a month. On August 25th, the mission's seismometer detected two quakes of magnitudes 4.2 and 4.1. For a comparison, magnitude 4.2 quake has five times the energy of the mission's previous record holder and magnitude 3.7. One thing to just point out about that is. Uh, it is exponential as far as earthquakes and, and how the power of it. Think about that. From 3.7 to 4.2, that is five times the total energy of it. So think about that in the, in the, the, the scope of thinking about Cascadia subduction zone, how the West Coast is going to be destroyed. If you know people that live on the West Coast, make them understand uh, that they need to be prepared because when it does happen, a 9.0 is no 8.0, is no 7.0. In fact, I, I believe it's in the hundreds of times when you look at a 7.0, which is about a 60 second earthquake compared to a five minute quake. Imagine long enough to microwave, uh, say two, almost three hot pockets. Uh, I'm trying to put it into terms or uh, mac and cheese. If you ever make easy Mac for your kids, three and a half minutes waiting at the, the, the microwave for that. And then another minute and a half after that, things are still shaking. So just want to remind people just because this points out a really good thing. Just 3.7 to, to 4.2 is five times the strength. That's how exponential works. And it's going to be incredible uh, when the West Coast is knocked out. It says the mission studies seismic waves to learn more about Mars interior. The waves change as they travel through the planet's crust, mantle, and core, providing scientists a way to peer deep down below the surface. I know that all of you do not, uh, not all of you actually believe that we are even on Mars and that this is, you know, whatever else. Um, I would say, uh, as, as for this, if we are really going to Mars at some point, uh, it just seems kind of, uh, if we've only been there for a little bit and we only know so much, how are they even thinking that they're going to move people there uh, and a million by, you know, so and so year? Or is that a desperate plan or something that uh, they have to do? Thank you. Uh, Stormblade X69 says, much love, need prayers. Wife and stepkids left Monday. I'm broken. Uh, Storm Stormblade, I, I will pray for you. Stormblade, and I hope other people do too. There's nothing you can, you know, that's not something that can heal unless, you know, that's something that's really hard to heal. Uh, that's something that only time can heal from. But but as far as that happening to you, I just want to make a point that there are so many uh, others just like you and there there are people to talk to in the Fugel family. And one of the points of the Fugel family in the first place was actually made by the Fugel family. I've always tell, told people to be their own leaders, to go off and do their own things. And that's why we do a lot of the time uh, leave you guys for 20 minutes before the show in the chat so you get to know each other and you actually get to, to make friends. I know 
uh, for a fact that many people have made friends through the Fugel family, people that they will be friends with until they die. Uh, people have made uh, literal lifelong friends through this channel, and that I am proud of. Uh, again, I wish I could help everyone that I see. You know, it's something like that. How would you? How would you help that? There are people that have their children that are dying right now. People with cancer. Uh, we have members who are currently on their deathbed. I, I really wish there was more all of us could do. Um, people are getting diagnosed every day with something. Uh, people are, you know, obviously having heartbroken uh, from breakups, and people are losing their spouses. Or it's just, it, it's really hard. One thing I think we can do though is we can push each other up. If somebody like Stormblade is hurting, we can care about them. Next time you see him, and in one week from now, say hello and say, you know, make sure he's feeling okay. Uh, Red Storm, keep up the good work, Marv. Thank you, Nana, Deborah. Thank you, Angela, sixteen oh nine. Uh, Maui Racing Realtor, I appreciate you. Old Yeller, 911. Thank you. And then Heartbroken Survivor. Uh, thank you for being here. Nana Deborah, thank you for gifting on a, a, a purple badge. That screen name alone, Heartbroken Survivor. You, you know that they've gone through some stuff too. So I'm praying for you, Stormblade. I really am. And then is China stepping up its ambition to supplant U.S. as top superpower? I think that this uh, this title, Dex, is basically, in my mind, a fact. At least that they're trying, right? It is, it is in my mind. I think they're blatantly saying it, too, every time, every chance they get. And, and they, they want to take every spot. It's not just one spot. It's many. Um, can you ex can you explain what's going on here as as far as their uh, what's happening here? Uh, yeah, sure. This is just you know yet another um, a piece where somebody is going through and outlining what China's doing uh, to basically try to outmaneuver and out uh, rank you know the U.S. and others, and and especially I think this is one of those times where they're going to try to do more because of. The AUKUS, I think is how you say it, the AU-UK-US agreement, right, which really went into the face of China. You know, they're pushing back and they want to make sure that, you know, that they, that that agreement that's going to go into place doesn't, you know, push them down. They want to be able to rise above that and continue to fight. And obviously China wants to be a superpower and wants to be the number one power. Um, that's their destiny in their mind. Well, and and the, he's making it very obvious as far as Xi Jinping, you know, he wants to have the heavenly mandate fulfilled. The personal, uh, the people that personally know Xi Jinping says that it is not just uh, something that he does for the looks of it or for uh, politics. Xi Jinping, on a personal level, people say that he is obsessed with uh, making sure that people believe he has that heavenly mandate. Uh, he believes in it. He believes it as a religion. He believes that he uh, is chosen. Uh, some have said that he believes that he is the chosen one to make China its ruler over the over the world. I mean, like this is some stuff out of a movie. You would think you you see him. He's professional suits and ties and and this and that. Uh, he really is somebody who very well in you know depending on who's looking at him could be a leader like Adolf. And I don't say that lightly. He is someone that is in very intelligent, very powerful, and very, very uh, dedicated to what he's doing. He's putting every cent into making this possible. Now, people have arguments and say they could never be a good leader. I don't think they could be a good leader, uh, a world leader. In fact, Serpensa, I disagree with him in the fact that uh, he says that they could never be uh, a world leader. They sure as hell will try, and even if they are in charge, they will be a horrible leader. But they very well could be in charge, at least until they're re you know retaken over. China wants to. China is trying to make the forces and the uh, militaries to actually take over the world. That There's no doubt about it. It says it may have been an inelegantly, even ineptly ex executed pivot, gratuitously uh, alienating key allies, but leaving Afghanistan uh, and forming the Australian, U.S., and U.K. security pact in the Indo-Pacific 
JB has at least cleared the decks to focus on his great foreign policy challenge, the systematic rivalry with China. It says, yet the concern now is how quickly this rivalry could escalate, especially in Taiwan. The pin of the U.S. alliance uh, system in Southeast Asia, Taiwan is the biggest island in the first island chain. It said the group of islands that keeps China blocked in, it is China's next target. And as the former British Prime Minister Theresa May pointed out, no one quite knows if the West is prepared to fight to save Taiwan or whether new tripartite pact in some way places a new obligation on the UK to come to the country's defense. Back when Theresa May was the was uh, talking about some of this, Theresa May uh, in, in the UK, they we showed you the announcements just three years ago and when they were talking about that they were pivoting and they were changing their funding and every every part of their money was going from fighting the T or ists right to fighting China and Russia they then put them on a pedestal other countries have uh, public documents that shows that they are very concerned about this and they're not putting it all over the media which again the media is all run by separate uh, the same entities under uh, of course separate uh, these groups right and they're all saying the same things they are pushing some countries far away to make sure that nobody is panicked right now there is more going on than in any time in history and it's continued to be that way one year ago there was more going on than ever in history even throughout some of the rough times when we got close to conflict right now they are uh, posturing themselves they have infiltrated countries they have done more cyber on the cyber end than they've ever done before there are there are actual uh, people that as far as high-ranking officials right now that are actually worried about this so it's it's really it's crazy because uh, the m majority of people have this thought that China is not that, that somehow they they aren't capable of doing anything I don't know if you know uh, personally any uh, Chinese people and in their culture uh, by the way most people love the Chinese culture love the Chinese people they just don't like the Chinese government but as far as the Chinese culture uh, education is number one and when education is number one that those are those are some adversaries that you uh, definitely need to watch out for people look at it through this slant of oh they make crappy products they make crappy products on purpose because they're smart uh, as far as they, they were making hand over fist cash they were making tons of money and they were paying almost nothing as far as the Chinese that are here uh, education top 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 you are meeting the, the top of the uh, the cream of the crop these this government is not something to mess around with and I'll be saying it all the way up until uh, we see them out in the water Chinese nationalist outlets, enthusiastic chroniclers of the end of the American empire, have certainly interpreted the U.S. pullout from Earth through the prism of Beijing's claim on Taiwan. The Global Times, their mouthpiece, predicted that Af showed that in the event of a conflict in the strait, Taiwan's defense would, quote, collapse in hours, and the U.S. military will not come to help. The U.S., ha it said, had shown it did not have the stomach for a fight. When we all know that that pullout, everything that was going on, in my opinion, was completely planned by at least part of, of uh, our people. Maybe those people are part of something else. It seemed very purposeful, and, and for something like this to come out, it, it seems like it, it worked. And that also gives the rest of the world uh, the trembles. There are countries that are trembling right now because of what happened over there, because we are their only defense. Think about that, Dex. What if it's a smaller country? Uh, I don't. I, I can't name one off of the top of my head, but I'm, there are tons of countries. Correct me if I'm wrong. That solely and utterly depend on us to protect them with our nukes, to, with our soldiers, and with everything else. Well, I can think of a big one. I mean, Japan is one, right? They have a military, but it's not very big, and they chose 
not to go nuclear because they chose to partner with us and allow us to cover them. So, and they they are the second tar- after Taiwan. Uh, again, like they said, Taiwan's blocking in China. Japan is another island that they want. They have said this. They said this back in 2017. They said, eventually, we will take Japan. So, what does it look like when we pull out from a place like this that we've been in conflict for 20 years? We've been training people. We had a military of over 300,000, and we give it up to how how many are actually in the T uh, band? How many... What is the population of that group? I mean, Dex, were were the T band uh, were they outnumbered or was it the other way around? Is the T band like a million? Oh, no, people? they were. Are they, they were in the million? Small. They were only forty in. Let's see, seventy-five thousand, maybe fifty thousand, somewhere in that that range. So you're telling it's not me very big. fifty thousand T band with old Russian equipment. Uh, again, I've said this before, they caused us one hell of a uh, fight because it's kind of like the Vietnam thing. They they, they knew the grounds. They uh, knew our rules and used it against us as far as like, uh, you know, we had to see the, the stuff before we took a shot, right? They took advantage of this. They used old technology like IEDs to, to basically just set up these booby traps on their own land. They did horrible damage, but at the same time, you're talking about 300,000 U.S. trained soldiers just dropped their stuff and left? This is why I ask people to prepare. Something massive is happening, and it's right under your nose. You can look, and you can see it all around you. It is everywhere and anywhere. Again, with this... I, I hope I hope people understand like this is not it's not to scare people it's to prepare people like you have to be mentally strong throughout the the next uh, f- I would say the next two years you are now stronger because of what happened in the last two years uh, I, I and I think the next two years you need to even be stronger it's it, it Dex and I talk off camera and it's like we genuinely this is what we think we're not doing this just to do this we were doing this because we believe it we dex how many conversations have we had where we just ended up sitting there for three hours talking about different stuff that is happening and that could happen right now oh yeah you know the it, the the possibilities are endless but the, something is going to happen it always does history does repeat itself we have to look at the past to understand what's going to happen in the in the future, and if you think that nothing's going to happen, then you know you basically got your head in the sand. You need to, you need to wake up because there's going to be something. And the writing's on the wall. We report on all different information so that we can try to have some semblance of an idea of what that may be, and we can be prepared for it. Right? Not be scared of it, but be prepared for it. Look at the patterns. We're teaching you how to look at the patterns. You can even use our website and not watch our show and figure out these patterns for yourself. We're not connecting like crazy dots that are uh, that are out there. We are showing you that the big picture is way bigger than anyone knows. And yes, it, follow your gut. Follow your gut on this stuff because you are right. The stuff that everything that we have said over the last few years it, that you've said to yourself about everything that is happening that they openly just deny almost I would say 99% of it is exactly what it looks like and somehow they can just say no I don't know if you've ever known somebody who just blatantly like uh you it, they they've done something they've lied but they'll they just it it doesn't matter they'll just deny it you could have video footage of somebody doing something with their you know they'll walk up to the camera uh, you know, take your, in this case, uh, I had a, a guy take our stroller when we lived over in the ghetto. He took our expensive stroller. It was expensive to us. It was $150. We don't, we didn't have money, right? Took our stroller off of our porch, looked into the camera, right into the camera. We caught him three blocks away, said, Hey, that's our stroller. No, nope. nope, it's not. No, it's not. I bought this. 
I said, I have video footage of you taking my stroller. It's not me. And the way he talked, he almost convinced me he didn't take it. No, no. I'm like, okay, well, you don't have a, a baby. This, this isn't your stroller. You're in the middle of the ghetto. He used it for stuff. We ended up letting him keep it because he was p using it to cart his stuff around. But it's like that. It's like th that's what people are doing right now. That's what the media is doing to you. And it's driving all of us crazy because we all think we're... N at, at some point, do you ever start to believe that we're wrong? Like, oh, th yeah, it can't be. Oh, no, it's not. That's the thing. I've taught myself not because the, it, once I start uh, doubting... If I go anywhere off of uh, off of following my heart with this stuff, that's when I know I've I've you know gone the wrong way. China carrying out NAZI style experiments on Muslims <laughs> with organs cut out and mystery infections. <laughs> Chilling report claims. Oh well, no way. Maybe we should buy some of their drones. Doesn't take a genius to see uh, that uh, you, some of the stuff that's coming out. This isn't even the bad stuff. They do horrible things. This is like I said, you'll wake up in a bathtub without your you know liver or something. It says China is carrying out barbaric. Uh, I'll say supposedly is supposedly carrying out barbaric medical experiments on Muslims in a chilling echo of cruel research by NAZI doctors campaigners have claimed. It says inmates in the Honest Regime's network of re-education are allegedly being given mysterious pills in and even having organs removed while still alive. What's funny is, does it, has, was anybody here when I was talking about this? We knew because there was, there was Fugle family members that had family members that had this happen. We talked about this way before the media was talking about this. And it's not because we have a crystal ball or I'm not asking for a pat on the back. It's because we had Fugelfam. When you have 50,000 people, the odds are is those 50,000 people most likely know somebody in every part of the world. And they probably have a piece of the puzzle of the entire world. This I talked about three years ago, two years ago. And now it's, it's, uh, it's now becoming more and more public. And again, I, I'm, I think that they've been doing this for a while. Um, but this is who you support. This is who you support when you uh, you you buy products from China. And we all have, by the way. I'm not I'm not any uh, I'm not any better. All, all of us have bought products from China. Even if you think if you have IKEA furniture, you've bought products from China. Now we know that for sure. If you weren't here for the other show yesterday, uh, they said that they're not getting new stuff, or at least my branch said uh, that they are not getting a shipment or the return shipment. The date on it says August 20, uh, 20th, 2022. He showed me on his computer. It was red. And that was the return day. So something like when we, uh, when we get our stuff back. Uh, if a big company like that is just completely drained, oh, something is going on. Something bigger than just a shortage. And it, he was told to tell me. I said, he told me it was Suez blocking the canal. Do you guys believe that? Let me ask you that. While we're on the subject, uh, it is now the last day. Before we move on, it is the last day. Uh, EMP Shield just sent out an email to everybody essentially saying that they are, uh, they are cutting their sale off tomorrow. So as I've always said, there are there is a, the fifty dollars off you get with our discount that always stacks on whatever sale they're running. So this is the last day that you can get our discount through the the discount we've actually had them give for you, and twenty extra dollars on top of that. So it's at the very least seventy dollars off per device, and that actually goes up depending on how many devices you get. Uh, they actually officially put it out they were ending the sale that has been going on for a month so again this is a device that can actually protect you against all three phases of an EMP this is the same company which is now contracted with agencies like DOD DHS and of course uh, the Demso team helping protect the Texas grid so remember if you want to go and take advantage of that this is the last day uh, or if you, uh, again, want to go over and just check out their products, you can protect anything from your car, 
Again, if you if get caught in an EMP or a Carrington level solar event and you are away from family, that's going to be bad. You can actually prevent that by putting an EMP shield in your car, on your generator, in your house. You can wire it into your actual house, on your ham radio, on your RVs, on your motorcycles, on your boats, even on your solar system. Go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. P. That is again marfuglenews.com slash EMP. All right, Dex, let's uh let's talk about the se- semiconductors. <clears throat> semiconductors as far as they can't find workers, so they're saying this. Do, um I guess do you believe this? Semiconductor firms can't find enough workers, worsening chip shortage. Well, you know, it if it's anything like it is where I live, yeah, everybody can't find workers. But um, this is just this is more alarming in the sense that we continue. It seems like about every month we get an update on the chip shortage, and it doesn't get better; it just gets worse. Um, they have they have said the chip shortage was bad, and they said, "Hey, the new update is it's not even getting better; it's worse." Well, now here we are again. And they're saying it's you know going to be even worse than they thought because and they've giving they're giving excuses now not just um, you know production but it's in, in over demand but they now have lack of production in the sense of uh, lack of employees that can actually build them. <clears throat> well, uh, I mean, so where where does this affect the nat- the normal person, Dex? Where where is this where are normal people like you and I going to feel the pain on this? Oh, we're going to feel it very much so as we head into, you know, the holiday season when it comes to all the electronics that people typically like to buy going into the holidays, whether it's, you know, TVs or video game systems or other electronics. Um, All of those things have chips in them, right? Um, New computers, uh, new cell phones, um, and then, of course, cars. We've heard about cars over and over again, 150 plus chips in every new car out there. That's been plaguing the auto industry. Plants have been shutting down. They've actually just quit making certain models and quit rolling production on them because they can't get the chips and they just have to back off and stop. So yeah, it's a it's a big deal. So and, and by the way, everything we're building, it's not like we're back in the Stone Age. We're not building you know soft and hard goods that have no technology in them. Everything you buy, like we just talked about a vacuum cleaner a couple of shows back with video cameras and all sorts of stuff in it. You know that thing's full of chips, right? You know, if you go buy on the next new product that you need or the next new innovation that comes out, it has computer chips in it. They all do. They all have multiples. So this is a, you know, this this becoming a greater uh, problem just in itself because of the, not having enough chips is also going to be a huge problem because our demand is going to exponentially grow year over year over year. Technology will continue to advance, requiring more and more chips and more and more technology okay dex also tell anybody that's new here or that has been there uh can you give them by the way global witness says love to you brother talk soon thank you and i appreciate you i shouted you out yesterday i really appreciate you and and god bless you i'm um, gonna talk about uh gone girl triple seven i uh in a second here i hope you guys pray for her uh, apparently she's in the hospital i found out uh, there's like several things that we probably should just go over at the end of the show um, as far as Fugal family members, there's just a bunch of people that uh, are important to the show, and I hope that they are getting better. Um, but so, can you tell the new people about your friend who owns a car stereo business? That, that oh, yeah, I think a, is a perfect example. Yeah, that is a perfect example. So the uh, the car stereo aftermarket car stereo business, you know, these guys cannot get product. Period. Like the my friend who's been doing it for 25 years, he's the the big car stereo guy in town, right? And he, every order he had with Sony was canceled. Uh, it wasn't delayed. They just flat out dropped them all and said, hey, there's no more. We're not sending you any in the foreseeable future. Basically, you can't get Sony, Alpine, Kenwood, any of these major names that you know of. But the only thing he can get is some knockoff Chinese version from China because they got the chips over there, right? So he can get this knockoff brand but he can't get any mainstream, you know, stereo units that you would typically have you put in an aftermarket scenario, like putting in a car. 
even even scarier. So this isn't just the only department that's got shortages and things that uh, we are dependent on other countries for, and that that includes if you are in Australia, your your country is dependent on Taiwan, uh, mo- and the majority now. Uh, if you're in the UK, if you're in Europe, you know there's no big hub. The hub is in Taiwan for the world. Uh, now, as far as uh, we are we are trying to change that. It's supposedly, they're you know making this new factory that will help. Um, I don't understand how we put ourselves in this position. How else? How else uh, did we uh, screw ourselves? Oh, that's right. We were getting something like ninety, and I don't know if this is still true. I hope after this fact came out that that uh, you know c- Congress or somebody stood up and said this is stupid. Dex, what else were we getting from China that was absolutely critical to our health? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Our, an- antibiotics, lots of pharmaceuticals that were manufactured over there. Antibiotics. The, the, the you know, of course, is modern day antibiotics. You know, we don't have things that we had just 100 years ago because of antibiotics. We don't have the same uh, diseases. Simple diseases that used to kill people uh, are no longer. We are dependent for like 90 plus percent of our antibiotics from China, our enemy, our adversary, our people just, I'll just, if you don't have anything nice, then don't say anything at all. We'll leave it at that. I'll I'll do the the Southern way. Oh, bless, bless his heart. But it really is an ass. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, you know, we're exponentially growing technology. In other words, you know, every five years is significantly different than five years prior, right? Which is significantly different than the five years prior. It's almost like your your Richter scale, right? The the growth of tech. It's all it's been that way ever since, right? So it's exponentially growing. And a couple of things that come to mind. One is the chip shortage, right? Because there's so much new tech coming out. But the other thing that comes to mind is the job replacement, right? In other words, how much technology is coming out that's replacing humans, the need for humans to do stuff. And we've talked about this many times when we talk about robotics or autonomous vehicles or other things. But you, you can you can sort of imagine there's this problem if, if exponentially, if like right now we've eliminated, you know, a handful of jobs here and there, burger flipping in a restaurant in San Francisco because it was cool, right? And, you know, but robots have taken away a lot of line jobs on uh, manufacturing plants. But then as that exponentially grows, all of a sudden we probably have a huge problem with the population that can't work because there's not going to be jobs, right? Because they're going to be replaced. So you have to factor all these things in when you're thinking about what is actually going on here, right? If we are, if we are exponentially going to be eliminating the need for humans to work, then do we have a problem of too many humans to feed that aren't working to do anything? Yeah. It would, right? Are they going to come up with a solution to exponentially delete humans? Or did they already? You say, well, that's a long-term thing. It won't go there, there. Well, maybe you could make something that slowly takes that number down a notch. Hmm. Uh, as far as, yeah, good. I like, or did we already? If you're driving, listening to my show tomorrow, love you. Trevor Shawale says the mm is the mark in the Bible. I don't know. That's still up for debate. Some think that it still hasn't come, that it's going to be even worse than that. Uh, Narrow gate. This is what God says about uh, being scared to Timothy. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I love it. I Well, there's actually... The, then you're going to get people because you can debate. There's many quotes about fear. There's, I'm sure there's quotes that actually say that we should be fearful, that there shouldn't be uh, lots of, uh, lots of different. I'm sure that's one of the probably most loaded things in, in the Bible. As far as uh, they do talk about fear and, and uh, strength, you know, something like David and Goliath, you know, of brave bravery and courage. Southern Yankee Kelly Joe, thank you for your support tonight. Uh, Viola Man says, thanks for keeping it real from Canada. 
Hey, thank you, Viole Men. Uh, and then Defiant1969, thank you for your support. JM, thank you for subscribing. I swear you unsubscribe and subscribe so you can... Uh, I don't know if that works, but either that or we have a lot of JMs. Patty Foot, Adam Gone Girl 777 left you a message in your last video about tonight's topic and that she was back in the hospital. Patty Foot, I, you know, and she always tries to make it to every show. She, you know, always shows her support. She's, uh, but other than that, like off the show, she's always going in and she's actually, uh, she's a prepper herself. She's a motorcycle rider. She goes to Sturgis every year. She's like super funny. She's a really an amazing woman. And I'm really sad to hear that. Like, uh, so if you guys can, please pray for Gone Girl Chapel 7. And, um, you know, somebody like her, there's so many people that are hurting right now in the Fugal fam right now. And the, the one thing I do have to clarify is I can't, I, I can't possibly help everybody. And I wish I could. I, I really do. Uh, Narrow Gate, thank you so much. Uh, Defiant1969, Sarah Farfan, uh, thank you so much. Undercover Prepper, more big things are going to happen. Stay awake and prep, not just your home. Uh, let's see, but your heart must be ready to endure to the end. God bless you all, Marf family. P.S. Thank you for real reporting. Thank you, Undercover Prepper. I appreciate that. Defrustrated, they are planning on taking over the world, and by done is his puppet to take the world down. America first. You know, that's actually a, a filter thing, too. They're looking for anybody and everybody, right? Thanks for the great content, Marf and Dex. Appreciate all the mods, and much love to, the, to my foogs. Uh, Cyber Jedi ma ma uh, Master, stand strong, but don't stand in silence. I love that statement. DZ1174, uh, thank you. Global Witness, uh, again, Brett Butler says, Thanks for the truth news. Longtime listener, you Dex and the mods work some magic. Stay fresh or and do you. Stay safe, prep up, never stop the truth. We need you and that amazing crew. Mari Nidre says, It's true and like the people from Ch a bot, even their own people don't like them, but they can't admit that in public because neighbors turn on turn them in. So Mari Naiji just said something. So people in China actually hate their own government, right? Well, if you go by the Harvard-backed study, you would actually see that that they have a 95% approval rating of their government. Why? And this is what is turning into. This is what the rest of the planet is turning into. The reason they have a 95% uh, approval rating is because, and they're based on this 95% approval rating on 100,000 people, however many they, they did. They say, oh, it, it's legit because they're randomly calling people and it's a government survey. And it's anonymous, right? Your phone in China is connected to your actual number. Everything, your phone is actually connected to your entire identity. So if the government calls you on your phone, which by the way, to get a cell phone, to get any kind of phone in China, you have to have your ID, the equivalent of your social security card. You have to have all of your information and it is directly tied to that phone. You are responsible for that phone. Anything that is done through that phone, you are responsible for in China. So when the government comes and calls you and say, hey, do you think China is doing a good job? There are zero. Well, actually, there was 5% who were probably those older people that are like, F you, I don't care, put me in jail, I don't care. You will say, yeah, yeah, no, no, we approve of, of China. Because guess what? Everything is tracked. They absolutely hate their government in a lot of places. There are older crowds. I do talk to, uh, now I've talked to more Chinese viewers. We have, we have tons of Chinese viewers with family currently in so many different provinces I can't even count. And they all say the same thing. The older crowd actually does follow religiously, uh, like Global Times, Shenzhen, the People's Daily. They follow that information and they accept that as gospel. The younger crowd is is the one that they have harder time controlling, and that's why they did the internet. That's why they cut off the internet. That's why they are stopping and stomping down the games. That's why they took away the game chat where they were talking to people around the world. They are silencing any dissent. And guess what? That's coming for your country and your town soon. 
And that's a fact. D Earth Observer for Gone Girl. Marf and Dex are on point. D Earth Observer, thank you so much. Pam Holman, thank you for subscribing. Hex, thank you for subscribing. That's again, Hex, like H E X. Uh, appreciate you. And then. And Adam, did you see Susan Donahue a long time ago? Or am I yeah. Oh, no, no, I did. And okay, good. Just hashtag, sure. hashtag Team Humanity. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I, uh, I appreciate that. And, uh, anybody that you know there's several people just in general that have gone above and beyond for supporting our channel that is that makes the the huge difference because guess what without those uh we are mostly dependent on uh you know just the the combination of everything so thank you everybody that supports i don't think people realize how little uh even at our size we can do things at with with these uh uh, yellow basically bottom of the barrel they changed rules so what they could do is put ads on everything regardless if the creator uh, gets the proceeds pretty crazy stuff so we we have so much uh, more we gotta we get we're, here we gotta keep flying four house wait a second I, I think I skipped something here Costco oh yeah 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 so I it won't sh oh okay. It says that there wasn't any water packs or toilet paper at Costco Day. Signs of times to come. So do you want to do you want to go over that, Dex? Yeah. So there's an accompanying article with this that says Costco is warning their customers over delays of essential household items. So they're having trouble fulfilling toilet paper. Obviously, the big one that is going to be in the news just based on what happened uh, last year. But there's been there's other you know household items like that that are uh, becoming difficult for them to stock and and they also say they've come out and said that a lot of people in different stores are actually stockpiling uh, and and you know buying up lots and lots of product so you know there are people uh, there are plenty of people that are doing things to be prepared and it's you know now becoming an announcement coming out of these large stores saying that they're seeing it. And for anybody, I, I did accidentally, uh, I believe I didn't get it on my first time through loading. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to load this here real quick so you guys can see this Costco. And, and by the way, any of the articles that we have here today, just to remind you, or if you're new, or if you just popped in and you're like, what is this live show? You can go to marfuglenews.com and you can find all of the articles. So this says Costco warns customers over delays on essential household items. Uh, LinkedIn has published its fifth annual ranking of the best workplaces. And here's blah, 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 blah. The membership only warehouse retail chain is issuing a warning to customers that they have uh, purchased the common household items online, saying that they may face delays in receiving their orders. Due to increased volumes, you may see a slight delay in the processing of this order. Costco's customer service team said in a purchase order confirmation email, viewed by Fox Business. It says the retail noted that the company is working to fulfill everything as quickly as possible and that customers will get a follow-up email with tracking information once order is shipped. All of our big, big companies are out of stuff. This is the real shortage. This is why it was important that six months ago when they said the shortage was starting, that, that that's when you needed to grab your extra stuff. It We haven't hit it yet. We are hitting it now. It is happening right now. Stores like Ikea saying a year of no nothing. And you're like, how is that even possible? It is possible. Costco. Can you see Costco, a huge company like this, not having anything? And guess what? They have enough money that it could sit for a year and not do anything. I bet it would hurt, but they could. But guess what? Can you use well, it without anything? Absolutely not. And now they're actually bringing back the limits. Do you remember the limits we had last year? Yes. Like you could only buy one if they even had it. It was like, oh, you can only have one thing. So they're actually starting to roll those limits out at every one of their stores. In certain every, locations right now, but they're moving it to the rest. Because everything is looping. The the, everything is looping. One uh, good thing some people I've said, heard, they say, well, if this is all happening again and if they are doing this whole lockdown and everything is going to start going back into that, uh, people are happy. I've got messages saying, I, you know, I depend on this moratorium thing. And now I, I hope that it comes back because there are a lot of people in this limbo. Once it, it was taken down, there was there's a lot of stuff going on right now as far as like people are doing payment plans not to. 
already we have seen more uh, uh, all this stuff of people going homeless, all sorts of things. So this next year is going to be a big thing. I think it is smart advice for anybody, and this is just my simple, you know, advice is not uh, to forget to uh, prep a little bit every week. Don't go nuts, just prep. And don't, uh, now, at this point, you don't want to tell anybody really that you're doing it. Because now they look at you like you're something, something different. We'll just say that. Something different. All right, and then... Uh, if you do want to stock up, perfect time to mention right now, Essentials of Life, you can pretty much get everything from food, batteries, anything. It's a one-stop shop for anything prep-related you can get with My Patriot Supply, my marfuglenews.com slash prep. You have a literal one-stop shop for everything you will need. Uh, anything. I mean anything, even iodine pills, all sorts of stuff is over there. Uh, you can now get, uh, again, different sets of food. If, okay, here's another thing. So the discount right now is is for a three-month supply is now $100. One thing I would look at is all of these different companies, uh, it is getting so in demand that, again, they are going to be changing things a lot. So I would highly recommend, well, there are still discounts to grab this kind of stuff. Uh, that was just reduced. The, their, their big sale was over. They are still doing $100 off on three-month supplies. So again, the, the demand for this has gone up so much, and that demand shows you something as well. So again, I hope that everybody ends up being responsible and get themselves... Do, if you can't do this kind of thing, make sure to do a little bit every week. Alaska Prepper is a great prepper to watch on, uh, there's a lot of them. Undercover Prepper, I, I have heard good things, uh, but uh, Alaska Prepper does payday preps where he spends almost nothing. Instead of doing a super chat, save that $5 and put that towards supplies if that's what you need to do. Everybody should be able to uh, prepare because the, the event isn't tomorrow, right? But we don't know when it will be. So just make sure to be responsible. Um, again, marfuglenews.com slash prep. You can get everything, air filters, water filters, uh, it, it, and again, affordable, great, great prices. All right. Uh, then we have a special envoy from the B administration, envoy to Haiti, resigns in protest of inhumane counterproductive deportations. Dex, do, do you want to explain this one? Well, yeah. So, you know, we, we've reported extensively uh, yesterday about what was going on down at the Del Rio. And uh, obviously there's going to be a lot of shakeout over this. Um, and this one particular person who was uh, appointed, I guess, by JB as a special envoy, who's the ambassador, uh, basically is uh, he's resigning. And he is, you know, basically pointing the finger back at the administration and saying this is very disappointed in what's happening uh both in the way things are going on and the fact that this is this is going down the you know this path uh of of you know grotesque situations in in south texas well and as far as uh the whole country is starting to feel this i i have a feeling that we are going to see it in every state Every state is all, I mean, there's so many states that are already saying it. We've already had callers saying that it's taken over their small towns, this and that, uh, that they actually outnumber small towns. There, there are towns that they are doing this in where the population of the town is less, and we're talking about far less, than the amount of people that just came in. You're talking about uh, one town had like 13,000 uh, come into their town. Their town was 800. So you all of a sudden have a tiny, tiny town just like i mean 20 times its population and just every, it's like could you imagine that moving to a, a tiny town a uh, tiny quaint town in the midwest or something and you, you you basically put your whole life into it you buy a house and then all of a sudden it's not like turned around like oh there's a bad person moved in but you just literally have 20,000 people in a tiny town and that's what's happening they're setting up these uh buildings they're even setting up temporary uh, you know, housing and things like this in these tiny, tiny towns. I think that's just nuts. I would be so pissed off. 
on the other side of it, it's like, well, but don't you care about the people? Absolutely. But this is this is a big flub up. This is a mess up. What about you know my grandparents and you know so many others that that uh, my well my great grandparents that went through the legitimate ways of doing things. I guess those are the people that really uh, get pissed off. I don't see why that you know that's not a bigger part of the argument. I know that people say that. I don't. I don't get it. What about the the people that waited and got turned down six times and waited ten years to get in and then somebody just walks in and boom, done. I don't think that. I don't think how how can that be fair? Backwards ingenuity. My job now says that the. V- is voluntary but a hundred dollar bonus if you do first is bribery next is force glad to be self-sufficient much love adam dex and mods backwoods i'm sorry to, i'm sorry to hear that uh you, you're lucky for now jbm if you want to know what's going to happen watch pastor arnold murray and shepherd's chapel his series on ezekiel and revelation will explain everything i'm interested to see it for for sure um if that's available on youtube i'll watch it Otherwise, let me know where it is. Pam Holman, thank you for subscribing. Uh, again, thank you, everybody, uh, over there. And then, so that this is crazy. They basically left. And then four house rooms file impeach articles against JB over the board and F. So this, you can go into it, but basically... This is again, it says, I filed articles of Im- against the at P-O-T-U-S based on what I believe to be clear violations of his duties. Representative Bob Gibbs, that's one name, of Ohio posted on Twitter Wednesday, the day after filing the articles. It says there are dynamics in Congress preventing this uh, from being debated, but I cannot stand or could not stand well B commits flagrant and deliberate violations. So will anything happen of this? Of course not. I think this is more so like look at those four people and at least uh, at least they're trying. Do you think anything will happen to this, Dex? Well, I, I doubt it personally, um, but you- I, you know, this is, it's kind of a significant thing. Um, it's not every day. Well, until what if it last does? administration, it wasn't every day you heard about, you know, an MP. But to see this uh, starting to happen now, it's interesting. We should pay attention to it. I mean, depend- well, regardless he- of what side of the aisle you're on, it is it is part of the narrative right now. Okay, well, so, but, well, and what you pointed out, so everybody is thinking that he will be replaced, right? That all out of nowhere, they're doing all this to make him look bad and then replace him. Technically, they just started a process, right? So this could be, so this could turn into something or not, right? It could be, uh, you know, if it was something else, then I don't know. But this is, it's a good point. It could, this could quickly turn into something. And then all of a sudden we're reporting it. If I was a betting, a betting person, I would probably go on the 25th is where I'd put my money. um, The 25th amendment, just because if the day comes that, you know, either a resignation or just the 25th, because if the day comes that he can't, fulfill his duties and that's how they'll they'll re- replace him if, if we all think it's a it's destined to happen then it more than likely is is the the avenue if not resignation right that's what i would bet on but this is certainly one process that's in place and we'll see if anything comes of it yeah absolutely it, it's it's going to be pretty crazy uh watching just how this goes out Elohim M says life is very short now live without regrets now don't live let your loved ones know you love them or let your loved ones know you love them now I agree with that 100% cyber Jenna master I, I, I again thank you for uh, your support tonight Craig Alicious Craig a I called you Craig a I didn't it didn't show me your full it didn't show it didn't show me your full screen name it just said Craig a Craig Alicious that's pretty funny. All right. And then um, over on DLive, thank you, everybody. Thank you, uh, Red Storm, for the Ninja Gini. Keep up the good work, Marv. Uh, Defrustrated. Thank you, everybody that drops in just little lemons at a time over the, uh, the two hour show. That really does add up. Thank you so much. Oh, Firefighter, uh, Angela1609, Lady Mel, Recalcitrant. Thank you for the lemon. Uh, Chance Paladin, everybody that is supporting. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And then, of course, we have the New York three letter agency. Uh, 
leader promises national uprising over Russia's V mandate similar. So, okay. So, essentially, I know this is going to just confuse the hell out of people. They're going to be like, well, well, I think this shows more than ever that this group was used for a uh, for a purpose and then kind of dumped out. Now they are going against the narrative. So it kind of shows you that they were kind of picked up and dropped. Which is kind of what people thought, right? It says the co-founder of a B -mm group in New York warned of an uprising similar to the GGF protests last uh, year over the V requirements. It says Shavona Newsom, an organizer with B mm -hmm, of Greater New York, led a protest on Monday at Carmine's Italian restaurant in New York City after a hostess denied entry to three BLACK women last week because they would not provide proof of the V. The woman tourist from Texas allegedly attacked the hostess. Wow, attacked. And were arrested on charges of assault and criminal mischief. But, again. So they attacked the woman? I would just well, leave. Well, hey, we don't. I'd, I'd actually like to know how they did that. because. Or know, are they saying just, that they attacked? Well, yeah. I mean, but look, you can touch somebody just by putting your hand on them and you can have simple battery. So we don't know. Was this like, you know, are you kidding me? Do I Assault. put my hand on you? Or is this like just an, a, a Texas beatdown? You know, I don't know. <laughs> it, it could be it could be the littlest of things and the, the media can spin it up as, you know, you know, the, the they, greatest of things. They do everything bigger in charges. Texas, but they were in, <laughs> yeah. They were in New York, so they might have kept it uh, kept it down. Yeah, did they beat down the hostess or did they get in a shoving match? And the, the lady tripped or something. You know, how, how about it? It said 72% of black people in this city from ages 18 to 44 are undone. Newsom said during the protests at Carmine's, according to the Washington Examiner. So what is going to stop the Gestapo, I mean the NYPD, from rounding up these people, from snatching them off the train or off the bus? I don't know. Again, does she have a point? This and everything else will be on the website. Dex, uh, there is actually a lot of crazy stuff on the website right now. So what in the world is the deal with that? Yeah, so if you head over to marfuglenews.com and you uh, click on the thumbnail for the show and scroll down to web-only content, you will see the rest of the show. And you, all, you sort of got a tease of it here. I mean, these two articles are sort of almost in that category of things that you know can get you kicked off or too hot for TV, or maybe they're just too sided to, to one side or the other. So there's a whole lot of other things going on. Um, tomorrow's a big day, allegedly, for uh, the happenings that are coming out from the bean counters in AZ. So um, who knows if there will be a distraction tomorrow uh, or if there will be some interesting information coming out of them. Uh, they they claim it's coming. They've, we've heard this before, but we'll have to see. Um, other things happening in the political world, tons of, uh, of stuff there with that. And then uh, even some stuff uh, about what the cat dog cat is doing. So head over to marfuglenews.com, click on the thumbnail for the show, scroll down and look for web only content. You will see the rest of the show. And uh, again, thank you, Elahim, JBM, Susan Donahue. Uh, Gone Girl is somewhere, and I hope she is uh, safe tonight. There are a few people. So, uh, I, man, I need to start keeping a list. Uh, again, f put your prayers out for, uh, well, for <laughs> Florida Patriot 71. Um, we had Ari 55 just lost his wife. You see what I mean? It's just everybody has had uh, so much pain recently. Well, this is why it, it takes more than me. I can't do I can't do everything. What we can do, though, is if you guys all start thinking like this and start pushing each other up. The goal of this show was always to to try to get you guys to understand that I am only one person. I'm not I don't I've never put myself as a leader I've always put myself as uh, beside you, okay? I, I want all of you guys to be leaders. That's why I always pushed everybody to start their own channel. When you start, you know, that's why we never say anything negative about any other channels. 
Uh, that's why we only push people up. That's why I have given the, the the work that I've put into this channel and the people that I have gained, I I give those out and hope, you know, hoping that those people that I give that to, that, that I'm doing more positive than negative. I guess the one negative thing that has been pointed out is I can't be at everything. I can't. But what you guys can do is is it's always been set up so you can help each other and you can help each other move forward. Instead of when a troll comes in, there's lots of trolls. Those trolls can easily turn into your best friend. Those trolls can easily be turned into somebody that you like, somebody that makes you laugh. Uh, if if uh, somebody that hates the show that, I mean, somebody pointed out, I think it was Gary or somebody said, uh, I'm just always surprised how many people dislike the show before it even starts. There easily is at least a few people that probably have 20 accounts that do the negative. I don't. They, it actually helps engagement with the the uh, with the uh, algorithm. Even if you dislike something, it helps boost that video because it's engagement. They don't care if it's negative or positive. They just want drama. And so the actual uh, algorithm, they don't care if it's negative. So they're helping the show. But what those pe people do is they watch every single show and they don't like me and it bothers them and they want to take me down for whatever reason. To me, those those people are people that we, that could be having a fun time, that could be in here and talking with people. And some of them, I bet you, have another account that they come in and chat with and actually have a good time. But at the same time, anytime they disagree, they probably turn into that. We can make this a place and it makes it it's really you guys that make this the chat the mods they make it a really awesome place um if somebody believes the complete opposite of you that does not mean that you have to hate them we can find common ground in plenty of places we're all going through drama we're all dealing with the same thing no matter where on the planet you are from right now you are dealing with drama external drama that you cannot you have no control over we can all find a common ground right there. Instead of uh, fighting, we should be, you know, getting this divide and splitting it and getting rid of it. The reason why no truther channels are like grouped up is because they just don't trust anybody. And they've done that on purpose. Together, we are so much more powerful. Separate, we are weak. That's why, I mean, I, I cannot tell you how many people I've seen off camera and they're all, nobody, everybody's backstabbing and trash talking behind people's back based on stuff that they don't even know about. Like, that's not okay. The whole Fugle Fam way was created by Fugle Fam. It was created by you. It's never push anybody down. I'm not perfect, none of you are, but what we can do is we can just keep trying. We can forgive people, always give people three chances in the chat, and keep moving forward. Thank your mods. Make sure to drop an M in the chat because they made it an awesome place tonight. Jennifer Hudson, keep up the great work, stay safe. Thank you, I appreciate that. And then Dex, thank you for uh, your skilled and talented work. Thank you for everything you do for us. Uh, again, thank you for you know all of the uh, all of the things that make you Dex. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Much love, man. Great show. Thank you, everybody that watches. Pray, praying for Gone Girl. Praying for uh, oh, thank you, EMP Shield, Dex, and Adam. Keep up the good work. Fugal Fam is the best. Thank you. One of the only channels that actually stops in and, and checks on their people. Thank you. Um, praying for Floored Patriot 71. Praying for Gone Girl. Uh, praying for everybody out there that is hurting, us, including Stormblade 69. I'm so sorry, but I couldn't imagine uh, if my children or, or my wife, you know, that's just rough. Uh, so thank you so much, everybody that was watching. Love you guys. Uh, thank you, D-Livers. Thank you, everybody over there uh, that supported. Thank you to the top three. Bling on Grandma. Uh, again, thank you so much and uh, appreciate it, each one of you. Have a wonderful night. Be safe. Be prepared. And Marf out. It's now time for the shoutro. It's not an outro. It's not a shout out. It's a shoutro. <laughs> You
push and shove me Down the stairway just to be above me You say you love me, say I'm your buddy But then rub me till it gets ugly You say you love me, you push and shove me Down the stairway just to be above me I 